Hello and welcome to my Vintage Audio File channel. This is now my 90th video and today I'm going to be uh, reviewing a mid-2000s JVC personal stereo system, bookshelf system if you want, if, if you want to call it that. Um, it is um, a very nice system. It has um, all kinds of features on it. It has a 5 CD changer slash DVD changer. Yes, I did say DVD. It uh, can play DVDs and it can hook up to uh, a TV. Um, of course, it's the old technology before HDMI and HDTVs became a big thing. That was like the following year. Um, so this will only input, output 500 lines of resolution instead of the current 1080, 4K type of resolution. But I think you can buy add-on adapters that you could uh, up, uh, load it to 1080i or P. Um, but it is still a nice little system. And it does have an AM FM radio on it. It does have line inputs so that you can add things to it. Um, it does have headphone phone jack and a USB that you can hook up to a uh, PC or anything else that uh, is uh, USB driven, like a uh, USB uh, modern turntable, if you would like. Um, like I said, it does have five DVDs or CD. Um, and without further ado, I will plug it in and uh, let you hear what it sounds like. And like, a, and as you can see, there's also a remote that goes with it that pretty much does everything um, that's on the front of the machine, plus much more. And without the remote, there's a lot of features you couldn't do or access. So it's really important to have the remote. The, it comes with a uh, pair of two-way um, speakers that are pretty nice. Um, they get the job done. It has what they call a turbo boost on it so that if you want to have a little bit more bass extension in the bottom end, you can turn that on to get more bass extension. Plus it also has a subwoofer out jack on the back so that you can add a subwoofer too to get, get the uh, sound even lower if you would like to. Um, so I will turn this on and let you hear what it sounds like. The radio itself uh, has uh, capabilities to input uh, 30 presets for FM and 15 presets for AM. It does have uh, receptacles on the back for AM and FM antennas. And uh, so without further ado, I will uh, turn this on. As you can see, the uh, time is blinking because I haven't set the time on it. Um, just didn't feel like doing that because I don't have it in a place where I really need to look at what the time is. So I will turn this on and let you hear it. Turn the volume down a little bit here. And I will hit the play. As you can see, it uh, has pretty decent sound from what I'm letting you hear because of uh, eBay's uh, trademark infringement that they offer.
if I knew by of what the CD sounds. I will turn it to FM now so that you can hear what that sounds like. Ton of sustainability. 416,000 tons, Sam, and we're already on the way. Let us help you out with a free in-home water test with the local Culligan Water. And you can access all the uh, presets from the uh, remote. Most do. They should. <laughs> idea with the radio sounds um, it does bring in lots of stations um, right now I've got preset for 21 FM stations don't have any AM stations in here um, but I do uh, plan on putting them in eventually um, like I say this uh, remote has a lot of buttons on it and a lot of that is related to the DVD operation itself. You can do all kinds of stuff with it. Play, pause, fast forward, rewind, next chapter, um, even do some inner in, inner workings type of things that you uh, most people don't even bother with. But uh, they're there if you want them. And um, I don't have any DVDs in here right now because I don't have a TV hooked up to it. But if I did, it be uh, it has both your standard uh, RCA type of uh, in-out video jacks. Plus, it also has the uh, um, other more fancier stuff on it too. But no HDMI. Like I say, you can buy a up converter if you wanted to, and hook it up to your modern HD TV if you wanted to, and have yourself a. Uh, all-in-one stereo system so that you wouldn't have to have a separate DVD player. It does not play Blu-rays. Um, Blu-rays were, I think, just coming on the market or were, were a year or two away from coming on the market when this was uh, released back in 2006. And... Uh, yeah, I can't say enough about this. There are two versions of this. The one I have is blank up here, but there's also a version that includes a cassette deck and some uh, mic inputs and outputs to record onto cassette deck if you wanted to. Um, but uh, I don't have that particular version. I just have the slightly cheaper model, but interesting enough they both have the same part number or whatever you want to call it and uh, like I say I don't have a uh, subwoofer hooked up to this right now even though it can be um, for me the bass is loud enough uh, when you have the turbo on it's kind of anemic when you don't have it on but but the turbo button really enhances the bass to a point where I can't even imagine what a subwoofer would sound like. I've never really hooked one up because I've had no need to do it. Uh, but it can be done. And of course these are standard uh, um, speaker uh, inputs on the back so you could put different speakers on here. Bigger speakers or better speakers or whatever your fancy might be. 
um, and you'd probably get uh, even better sound out of them. But for what it is, is a bookshelf system that can sit just about anywhere in the house. It's uh, plenty good with the speakers that they they provided. Um, so uh, that is what I have right now for this particular review. Hope you liked it. Hope I wasn't rambling too much. And if you like this video and have any questions, you can please um, don't hesitate to uh, send me an email through my uh, web, my uh, audio file uh, website here. Um, or you can uh, subscribe to my channel too. I would greatly appreciate that. I've uh, steadily been getting more and more people all the time, the more videos I do, and I appreciate everybody for subscribing to me. Uh, and until next time, I will bid you adieu for now, and uh, you'll see me in my 91st video. Thank you very much. Have a great day, and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.